guys. So, baby's here. Here she is. She is, um, so we named her Brielle. And um, she is going on three weeks old now. And, um, sorry I don't look the best right now. <laughs> um, it's been rough. So, um, <laughs> so, um, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm just kind of starting this, just not even, I'm just diving in. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. So she's almost three weeks old, and um, she was born on August the 5th at 11, I forgot the exact time, but <laughs> she was born around 11 o'clock in the morning. She came out at 8 pounds and 15 ounces, and... Um, I was exactly 39 weeks when I had her. So we got to the hospital around 5.45-ish or something like that. <laughs> we were kind of late. Um, and in the morning and um, I was already having like contractions and stuff. And I was having like some fluid down there and I don't even know or maybe discharge I don't really know um once we got there I told the nurse that like I think my water broke or maybe it's leaking or whatever because I wasn't really sure I felt like something coming out of me like I was like peeing or whatever and um she checked me and you know um I was a four when she checked me by the way um, I think that, I think I actually recorded that, because I did, like, a couple update videos that day, um, but I couldn't do, like, I couldn't record my birth or whatever, because we weren't allowed to, I guess, I don't know, but, um, it all happened so fast, like, I really wanted my husband to video me, like, while I was in labor and stuff, but, like, it all just happened so quickly. So, anyways, um, so she checked me and I was a four and she had me, like, cough to, like, see if anything was coming out or if my water broke or whatever. Um, and nothing came out when I coughed. I mean, I didn't feel anything, so I was, like, confused. I was like, wait, did my water break or, or what? So, she just said that my water probably broke and she wasn't sure either like we were both just unsure like I don't even know it was weird but she just took it as okay my water broke whatever um or leaking it was leaking or whatever I don't even know but um I was gonna get started on Pitocin but I didn't get started right away because she said my she said since my water broke that um, I didn't have to get Pitocin right away, or whatever, so I didn't get it right away, um, but then the other nurse came in and gave it to me, so I don't know, it was weird. I just let it be, I didn't really say much of anything about it, but, um, yeah, so eventually I got started on Pitocin, I don't even know what time it was, it was like around 8 maybe, or 7, I don't even know. Um, and then, um, so yeah, they started me on that, and then my contractions started getting more intense, and within, like, I don't know, it was like, I think it was like 9 o'clock when my contractions actually started getting way more intense, and, um, my water had actually broke completely at this point. It was weird because, like, my water broke and it was like this really intense pain as my water broke like you could even hear it on the monitor like my water like it was like this thump sound on the monitor 
because my water had broke and it was like so weird. I don't even know. It was weird. Like, but it hurt really bad. Um, it was weird. And then I started getting more intense contractions and that's when the pain really started happening. Like I was in a lot of pain before, but after my water broke, it was like way more intense and it just happened so fast. Like I think my water broke by nine and she was born by 11. So it happened so quickly and like, I didn't even have time to like tell my husband to like record and stuff because it just happened so fast and I was in so much pain because I wanted to go naturally so and I told the doctor the nurses that and the doctors that I, I wanted to go naturally but I wasn't intending on getting epidural at all and um <laughs> I think like an hour later maybe or less after my water broke I I had said that I wanted the epidural because I was in so much pain and I was like I can't do this I can't do this this is too much like it was so extremely intense I was just in so much pain and I was just like I just couldn't do it I couldn't do it it was just it was so intense I couldn't like talk I couldn't I couldn't think I couldn't think enough to even like talk because it was just so intense and so painful and all I, I just I, I I eventually got to a point where I was screaming because I was in so much pain and sh no but, but um and um <laughs> and then the anesthesiologist anesthesiologist came in and gave me the epidural and um, the epidural like didn't even kick in like it did not kick in because I was already in so much pain. So the epidural didn't even kick in. So I was like in so much pain. And I think I was a 10 by the time the epidural kicked in. I was already pushing by the time the epidural kicked in. So I went through all of that pain. I basically went naturally. I mean, I didn't feel the ring of fire part because the epidural had already kicked in and stuff. So like, I think I did one push. One push naturally before the epidural kicked in. My second push, the epidural had already kicked in. I did like a couple pushes and then she was out. Like literally, she came out so fast. And then, like, it wasn't even that long, like 15, 20 minutes pushing and that was it. And then she came out. Hey, shh. And yeah, that's how it happened. It was like so intense. And crazy I was screaming off the top of my lungs I didn't care who heard me I was like probably the loudest person in the hall of all the rooms delivery rooms I was probably like the person that was the loudest and they could probably hear me from the hallway because I was screaming off the top of my lungs I didn't even care like it was like just natural for me to scream like it was just yeah. natural because of the pain and everything and actually two people asked me if I was okay the anesthesiologist once he came in he asked me if I was okay and I was like no I'm in pain and um and then the doctor came in and asked me if I was okay and I don't even remember like what my response was because I was just in so much pain I don't even know if I answered or not I don't remember but it was so crazy and honestly I think it wouldn't have been as painful if the nurse that was like caring for me at the time um I think if she wouldn't have given me so much Pitocin all at once because I felt like she gave me a lot all at once like like I started off at like a two or a three I think and then by like nine o'clock because I started the epidural around seven I don't even remember exactly but by nine o'clock I believe I was already at 12 she already like bumped me up to a 12 by then and I really think that was a lot to be honest and like after my water had broken and everything and I was in all that pain I had called her in and asked her if she could like turn down the Pitocin because I felt like it was a lot at a 12 and 
I just feel like she, cause she, she came in like every 20 minutes bumping it up. And, um, yeah, I just feel like she kind of did it a little too fast and a little too high. So, um, she eventually put it down to like a six, I think. Yeah, it was like a six. And I was like, dude, that's still too high. Cause I'm like still in so much like pain and my contractions are coming so fast. Like even like, even like she was saying that my contractions were coming really fast. Like they were like not even a minute apart. And I was only four to five centimeters dilated. So I shouldn't have been less than a minute apart at only four to five centimeters dilated. I should have been at least a minute or two apart. So yeah, she um, she eventually bumped it down again. She eventually bumped it down again from a six to I think like a two or a three or whatever from where I started. And um, that wasn't until I was already like fully dilated or almost fully dilated. I don't even know, but it was so intense and I was like screaming and I was I, I didn't even time I didn't even time to think about crying like I was crying but like I couldn't cry like it was it was weird I because I was just in so much pain and the contractions were coming back to back and it was just, like the most intense thing I'd ever experienced and yeah it was crazy and um yeah I'm glad I at least did one push naturally before the epidural kicked in I'm glad I'm glad the epidural kicked in because like I don't think I would have wanted to experience that ring of fire <laughs> that's the worst thing that I I did not want to do when going naturally that was one of the things that I wasn't wanting to do <laughs> I wanted to go naturally but I just did not want to experience that ring of fire part so I'm kind of glad it happened the way it did, but I'm still kind of upset that the nurse, like, put me on a really high dosage of the Pitocin so quickly. On top of that, I didn't even get any sleep that night before. Like, none, because I, I just could not sleep. I was just thinking about everything that was about to happen. I was like, I'm about to give birth in a couple of hours, and I just couldn't sleep that night before, so I had no sleep on top of being in all of that pain and it was just crazy and like she cried as soon as she came out like she screamed it was so cute and I saw her face as soon as she came out and she was big I mean I didn't know she was that big like when they said that she was 8 pounds 15 ounces I was like holy moly she is freaking large and they said she was like over the 90th percentile and I was like oh my god she's big she was like hungry all the time so this girl was like cluster feeding a lot and I even had to give her formula a couple times because just my colostrum was not enough for her so yeah she's a big girl and I don't know how much she weighs now probably over 9 pounds now um, she's almost three weeks old now, so it was so crazy. Like afterwards, I was like, "Whoa, I did that!" Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was really intense. And I was just like, "Oh my gosh!" I just couldn't believe it. I was like shocked. I was shocked. I was like, "Did I actually do that?" Like, I actually went naturally. Basically, it was naturally because they gave me the epidural and it didn't kick in so they had to come back in and give me like some more epidural and oh my gosh and they even gave me something else i think they gave they gave me something some pain medication i think after they gave me the epidural first time they gave me like some sort of pain medication i don't even remember and then that didn't work because i was still in pain and so they had to come and give me another dose of epidural and that still wasn't working because I was already like almost fully dilated by that time so yeah that's pretty much it for my labor talk to you guys in my next video <laughs> there she is.
She's being fussy right now. She's just being so fussy. Okay. Talk to you guys later.